Today I'm going into the shop and this video is a long time in the making. Anyway, a lot of you know we've been working on getting our small shop upgraded to a big boy shop and for the last number of months we've been working on getting it uh, the new space totally remodeled but ultimately we wanted a space where we could grow into it and it would be long term like this will be a premier destination fly shop and here's where we are Alexa, turn on the shop lights. But first, let's back up. Holy crap, this sucks. Sometimes I wish I were the cameraman. <laughs> So this is our new shop. A lot to do still. Luckily we've got Cheech and the gangsta's there while I film everybody. This is hard work. This camera's pretty heavy. It's heavier than you think. Poster on the wall that says that's Lance Segan right there. It's uh, early on, but you can envision all this carpet ripped out. Put down some other flooring. Flies are going to go right here. Rods and reels over there. Education center. And then pretty much the master fly tying area. It's going to be about 2,500 square feet. So this space alone is about a couple hundred square feet bigger than our current shop entirely. Fairly early on, we're just ripping stuff out now. But we'll be getting there next week, flooring the week after, lighting, and then we're moving. We're gonna switch jobs and become carpet terror uppers. No way in hell. Okay, so you are entering the Fly Tying Mega Shop. That's a nickname I gave it, which is bad. You shouldn't nickname your own stuff, right? Spooled products here. Any type of thread you want, kind of. You come through here, we have a rack of nothing but rubber legs. This is foam alley. Uh, we have all the cutters here um, and all different types of foam from popper heads to booby eyes, foam cylinders, ant bodies, evazote, all that stuff's right here. All right, so now we have chenille. We got tons and tons of chenille bunch of different types of estas, woolly bugger, tinsel chenille, polar chenille, palmer chenille, fritz from our good friends in the UK. Now the cool thing about fritz is it's all fluorescent. A lot of times people want to know how fluorescent is it? So we say Alexa turn on the UV light. She thinks about it. She's like maybe I will. And so then our UV light down there turns on and so we put the, the stuff over the UV light and say okay maybe that one's more fluorescent but don't look into the UV light very much Alexa turn off the UV light so moving along we have tons and tons and tons of marabou I think from here all the way over to about here we're gonna wait to show this because we're taking a turn down flash alley Antron chenille, um, and then about every type of flash from flashaboo to crystal flash, midge flash. Over here we have kind of the streamer or big fly stuff. So EP fibers, EP brushes, big fly fiber. 
thin skin and egg foam or egg yarn, synthetic quills, regular quills. So this is where we get into more naturals. We have like turkey flats, partridge, goose biots, stripped wild turkey biots, duck arse. So this is all the CDC, CDC dubbing, Montana fly stuff, nature spirit stuff, Polish stuff, trout hunter stuff. Over here, Icelandic sheep, primo deer. Before we go on though, we gotta show this. We have selected fly displays. This is everything for the baby fat minnow, everything for the thread Frenchie. Squirrel pelts, rabbit's feet. This is the Peter Steen uh, rack. He hand selects all, no he doesn't really, but select cow elk, one of our top sellers. Squirrel, rabbit zonkers. Um, starting over here, we're getting into dubbing alley. So all the nature spirit fine and natural, beaver dub, snowshoe rabbit hair, fly fish foods very own, bruiser blend dubbing. We're super stoked, 24 colors, junior, and regular both have their own dispensers. We have all kinds of dispensers. This is the dubbing that started it all for Hairline. The original Hairline dubbing. So this is this is kind of the scar of the shop though. Spooled products are hard. So as you can see we're very organized with how we put our floss in some chenilles and it spills over down to here. So This hurts my brain down here. We are actively fixing it maybe looking at something like that yeah from old semperfly so if you have ideas for spooled products hit us up comment uh smash the bell is that Ooh, what i'm supposed to say smash the bell okay we have probably the biggest selection of arizona products out there we have mega simi regular simi um synthetic mega synthetic diamond dub diamond hair Probably our top selling dubbing, which is Ice Dub. So the good old hairline Ice Dub, as you can see, we sell a whole bunch of shrimp pink. The one and only Fire Hole Stones. We have every size and color, and they are money. Okay, we're going into beads. So these are cone heads and slotted tungsten, Hannock slotted tungsten these colors are wild so been really liking those they also match up really well with tungsten or with hannock hooks brass beads and then this is all plummeting tungsten beads so starting here this is uh the hook wall and we have them kind of spaced out because we're adding more and more every week huge selection of daiichi the tmco selections growing Hannox. This hook, where is it? This hook right here, the Hannock 400, is probably the top selling item in the whole shop. Is that? By volume. Yeah. By, yeah, by volume. Anyway, it's a great hook. All the fire hole stones, or I mean sticks, and more coming as Joe comes out with more. Gamakatsu, lots of gammies. Dohiku hooks. This will have section for more stuff. <laughs> Fully mill hooks, which has our beloved Bonio Carp and Streamer Stripper hooks. Whiting. Drum roll. Check out the merchandising. We want to make sure people know what, what order the grades go in. And we just kind of keep this stocked as we get it. Um, so we have tons of dry fly. We have hen products. We have streamer products. We have four bees we have chickaboo all that kind of good stuff and that goes all the way over to here um, and then we have like peacock and uh, schloppen and strung hackle and that kind of this is the tool wall um, probably soon to be moved but we have all different types of UV resins across the top tons and tons of different scissors lots of different bobbins including this one the cnf cft60 it is money um hair stackers um hackle pliers 
half inch tools, whip finishers, tweezers, hackle gauges, uh, dubbing brushes, dubbing twisters, everything you could possibly need for tying flies. Okay, so we wanted to really make sure that we had vices and I think we have a bigger selection or we had a bigger selection of vices than rods. So this is the vice wall. We have everything from the Norvice, Anvil, HMH, Regal, Stonfo, Peak, and Renzetti. So we have lots of flies. Um, we changed up our fly um, display so that we could double our selection. So right now we're running with kind of what we had before, but as you can see down here, we've got room to, to put six more trays in. The streamers. So, you know, you want a ball of sliders? Right there. Got to have a bet, good hat selection. So, we got it. Nets, we're increasing our selection of bags and some of the apparel stuff, but we probably won't go too crazy with that. Here's uh, more apparel, fly fish food specific apparel. Leaders and tippet. So as you've probably seen, we've done fly tying nights. We did uh, bugs and bowl games on New Year's Day where we smoked a bunch of ribs and had a bunch of people come in. But this section of the shop is really cool. It's probably our favorite part. But it starts at the man cave over in the corner. And yes, women can come in the man cave too. It's just a form of speech. It's just a sexist nickname. Oh yeah, yeah. Exactly. So we have a big old couch. Matthew the chicken, the HR manager, and Cheech the doll are always in the hide. Down Keeping it real. Got some videos going on. Artwork from our buddies. Um, the fridge is usually stocked with uh, sodas and water. We need to sock it up. You're you're free to help yourself when you come into one of those. This is the newest addition. Oh wait, Rattle Bass needs some show. <laughs> yeah. So. The rod rack is super cool. We had it custom built to kind of match the the uh, front desk and everything, but we have a, a pretty good lineup of Scott fly rods, Echo, Orvis, Cortland, um, and, and adding more brands as we see fit. And then as you can see up there, it says Education Center. How many chairs do we have now? Like 50 something? Yeah, 50. So we just had a clinic here where Lance got us all learned up on Euro nymphing and we filled this place. It was a great time. So coming over here, we've got the podcast tables, which hopefully we'll use again very, very soon. We have an 82 inch OLED TV for the presentations. Looks like our sound bar needs to be put on better. <laughs> And then this is the kind of like the podium uh, where we do fly tying demos or um, s fancy talking events where people talk at us. We also have a shop Traeger. So um, in case you need to go and hurry and smoke some ribs, you got ribs to smoke. Overall, the shop is 5,500 square feet. The warehouse upstairs and 4,000 square feet downstairs. And we're going to fill it up. Okay, this is our warehouse space. This space in and of itself is bigger than our previous shop. The whole thing. So one of the things we want to do is be able to have more space to store things. So this was basically a blank slate. And we moved everything that we had from the old shop here. And then we put up some more shelves. And everything is organized. We've got probably 30% more stuff up here than we do downstairs, but a lot more of it because we have, everything can be in boxes versus pegs, which pegs are pretty inefficient. So then we had this awesome shipping table, the same 
lady that customized a lot of the other stuff in the shop. Big She's, shout out to Patrice. Patrice is a carpenter extraordinaire. She took our specs for our shipping table and just killed it. So this allows for us to do putaways on this side and then on the other side we've got our shipping station. What up Kilo? What's up? Kilo. Kilo's got some reggae going on for us today. And then this is where all the magic happens when we put your stuff into the bags and it ships out. We got a lot of our flies here that go out. We got enough room for another row of shelving. Um, and we have four more shelves that we're gonna put in as we add more and more inventory. So that's about it from the upstairs. Um, we're just working to fill it. So this is the new shop. Fly Fish Food 2.0. This is Curtis, that's Lance Egan right there. Come and visit. Now back up and we're gonna wave. <laughs> I don't know if I'll put that in there. <laughs>